Much better! Nice and dark! As I get some answers.
I'm gonna clear your eyes! I must be seeing him.
Johnny? Johnny fucking Powell. What are you doing here? And where the hell are we? You let stupid stuff get in your head, then it gets all jumbled and weird, and people think you're nuts! Come find me, Jack. Hello. Tony, Tony, what happened? Did you find the guys who hit us at the restaurant? Sometimes I can't tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable. Jesus Christ, what is this place? I gotta get out of here. I ah, 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 ah! You are the bringer of death. What the fuck was that? Jackie, over here! Jesus Christ, Jackie, we thought you was dead. What happened back there? I, uh... I handle things, like I always do. What the hell's going on, Tony? Hell if I know, boss. Look, we gotta get out of here. You go in your limo, and I'll go ride in the car with Vinny. He busted up a couple of ribs, but he's gonna be fine. The first time you use the darkness, it scares you. But once you've tasted it, you can't stop. That's all you think about. Like I said, it consumes you. Every second of every day for the last two fucking years, I kept myself in check. Gritted my teeth and kept it buried. Oh, now it's back. And I can feel what it's doing to me. So, uh, I guess setting you up with the twins didn't go so good, huh? Yeah, no shit. I'm glad you're all right, Vin. Now, can you tell me what the fuck just happened? I don't know. I saw some weird-looking guy had a limp. It was crazy, like one minute he's there, the next minute the guy just fucking disappears. I don't know, I must have hit my head or something. Look, anyways, Jimmy says he's got a lead on the crew that hit us. Good. I'll find Jimmy. Tell him to meet me in my office. I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, sure, whatever you need, Jackie. Oh, yeah. You don't get it. Hello, You'll never Mr. get it. Jackie. On the water, on my boat, I can just kick back. I ain't getting any younger. About time I take it easy, you know? It's a fucking boat, Frank. Can a boat tuck you in at night? Can a boat make you children? A boat as an anchor that I control. Not the other way around, Eddie. You calling my wife an anchor? She's my sister. I call her whatever I want. Uh, you're a fucking mess. Jackie, how you doing? I'm pissed off, boys. We're gonna find these fucks. Jimmy's got some info already. How the fuck's that guy know everything? He's a goddamn encyclopedia. Encyclopedia? Listen to you. Like you ever cracked a book in your life. <clears throat> this fucking guy, right? If he wasn't already married to my sister, I'd have to punish him by introducing him all over again. You talk shit, but I know we're gonna see you for dinner on Sunday. Hey, Jackie. You say the word, and we're ready to go. We got your back, boss. Thanks a lot, boys. Now drink up. It's gonna be a long night. You know what your problem is? What, aside from you? Your problem, asshat, is you ain't never been in love. Uh, I love my boat. That don't count. I love drinking. No, no, no. Real love with a person. Like I said, in love. Oh, and you have? Yeah, I've been in love. I'm in love right now. With my wife? <laughs> with my mistress? Hell, I even loved that whole Camille from the other night. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Lone Ranger gets captured by some fucking assholes, right? Indians. No, bad guys, thieves, assholes. Come on. Criminals. Sure, okay, so, Lone Ranger gets captured by a bunch of fucking criminals. When those bad guys' backs are turned, Lone Ranger sees, up on the hill across the valley, his best buddy Tano. Yeah, the Indian. No, the Native American. 
All right, all right. Native American. Okay, so the Lone Ranger can't escape. He's surrounded by all these assholes, right? But when nobody's looking, he snags a blanket and gets his ass over to the campfire. Where did he get a blanket? Hey, what do you fucking care? I bet it was a saddle blanket. Fine, genius. A saddle blanket. Okay, Lone Ranger grabs a fucking saddle blanket and starts fanning over the fire. He's sending smoke signals to the Yank. The Native American, right? Fucking A right. He's sending a smoke signal. Tano sees the signal, nods, and tears his ass out of there. Now, when Tano comes back, he's got this beautiful blonde with big ass titties with him, right? <laughs> yeah? Lone Ranger sees the blonde and shakes his head no. So the Lone Ranger fans the fire, sending Tano the smoke signal again. Tano sees it, nods, then races off. This time, he comes back with a hot, long-legged brunette bitch, right? Right. Lone Ranger sees this chick, shakes his head again. No. Fans the flame, sends the same smoke signal a third time. Off Tano goes. This time, he brings back a smoking redhead, right? Lone Ranger finally drops the blanket, just yells across the valley at the top of his fucking lungs. I said posse, you <laughs> asshole! Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Right? <laughs> I don't know. It just don't seem right. I think the guy's fucking nuts. You think the boss is a nut job? What, you don't? What did you say? Oh, hey, Jackie. Looking good, boss. Jackie, uh, let us know what you need, okay? Jackie, Jackie, don't take this the wrong way, but I got a sausage over here with your name on it. See, I knew you'd take it the wrong way. Go with God. Hey, boss, you good? Someone's gonna pay for this shit. Well, okay. Thank Christ he got it back, you know? What do you mean? I saw you again today, in the alley, down on the tracks. I still see you, everywhere I go. You torture yourself with her memory, Jackie. Jenny would never have wanted this. It scares me that you're so much like your father, Carlo. He could never let things go. Aunt Sarah, I'm fine. How many times I gotta tell you? 
You're a terrible liar, Jackie. Sometimes... Sometimes I, I think I see her. And it's like... It's like she's not gone. But she is gone, Jackie. You buried Jenny years ago. I know, I know. Listen, Aunt Sarah, thanks for looking out for me, but I'm okay, all right? Just got a lot on my mind right now is all. Fine. You ever get the balls to actually talk about all this, come see me in my room. All right, fine. You want to bust my chops, then let's talk. What do you mean, like my father? I loved your father. Everyone loved Carlo. He just had that way about him, but before... Before we lost him, he couldn't let things go. He became obsessed, and that obsession consumed him, Jackie. I don't want to see the same thing happen to you. Obsessed with what? It... It's not important. It, you just have to let go, Jackie. You have to move on with your life. I am, Aunt Sarah. I am. You really are the worst liar I've ever met. And I grew up with thieves. So what then? I'm seeing ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, Jackie. But I do believe in being haunted. You need to man up and let all of this go. You're right. How come you're always right? Comes with age, kiddo. I'll talk to you later, Aunt Sarah. You know where to find me. Hey, Butch. Leo. Hey, boss. We was just talking about you. Glad you got your, uh, mojo back. Let's send a message to these fucks that think they can hit us. Yeah, you got that right. We're ready whenever you need us, boss. Hey, boss. So what's what? I want you to go find somebody for me. Johnny Powell. Lives down by the Queensboro Bridge. You find him and bring him back here. Johnny Powell? Ain't that the guy that used to help you out with that thing of yours? He was a weird fuck. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? It don't matter. I need him back. Go bring him by for a visit. And hey, you don't have to be nice to him. Whatever you say, boss. I'll have the new guys go get him. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy's waiting for you in your office. He's got a lead on the guys who hit us tonight. Thanks, Finney. Anytime, boss. Let me know if you need anything else. Jackie! Good to see you in one piece, kid. Got that information you wanted, kid. If any says you got information for me. This thing at the restaurant. I just heard from Emilio Capizzi. Couple of hours later, someone torched our warehouse down at the docks. And Freddy tells me two of our boys got clipped outside of Gino's Deli tonight. Somebody's making a play. Whoever did this to us is dead. You hear me, Jimmy? There's the Jackie Estacado I know. Vinny told me you got that thing of yours back tonight. It's about fucking time. All right, all right. Just tell me what you know already. A waiter recognized one of the guys who came into the restaurant tonight. Some guy named Swifty. Oh, Swifty. Yeah, I know that prick. He left as soon as I got there. Yeah, I never actually met him before, but I'm definitely looking forward to meeting him now. I had Vinny get some of the boys together. Let us know when you're ready to go and kick some righteous ass. Things ain't the way they was no more. What the fuck is wrong with this place? This town's gone to shit. Every little turd burglar on the street thinks he's connected, because he's seen the Godfather. Like a bunch of actors dicking around in a fucking documentary or something. What's with all this punk rock hooey? Back in my day, we used to make that kind of noise. It was called a chainsaw. Guns are too complicated nowadays. What the fuck would I want with a safety catch? If it was supposed to be safe, it'd be a fucking fishing rod. How the fuck would I know how old I am? It keeps changing all the time. I knew this guy, Vito... something or other. 
Me and him did some time in the fifties. Boy, could that kid jack a car. Long as I ain't in the obituaries when I read the daily paper, I'm okay. Back when I got my start, a car was a couple of bucks and ran forever. Even when you switched it off. They gotta get me a new birth certificate. The last one expired. This jackass the other day tries to sell me a computer. What the fuck do I want with a computer? Way down some computer salesman at the bottom of a river? Things ain't the way they was no more. What the fuck is wrong with this place? This town's gone to shit. Jackie, give me a shot when you're ready to go. Hey, Jackie. What say we go pay this asshole Swifty a visit? Let's go crack some skulls. Atta boy, boss. Let's head down. Well, here we go. Time to go to work. Want to know something funny? When I was a kid, the dark used to scare the shit right out of me. I always felt like there was something out there. In the shadows. Just waiting. And Sarah always said I was a smart kid. She tried to tell me, Jackie, either you control your fears, or they'll control you. And I tried to control them, believe me. I tried. But every night, there I was. Hiding under the sheets, trying to convince myself that whatever was out there wasn't real. Thank God I outgrew that shit, huh?